Hi, this is Steve Finn, and I am here to have a playthrough of Let Them Eat Shrimp Swim Alone solo variant. So I've started the game. You choose one of the boards. In this case, I choose Joe's board number three, which means that I begin with three of these eggs. Um, you also begin with the advanced player mat and one of each shape of fish tiles. And then you also have the uh, solo cards over here. You begin the game by taking one of these green tri uh, triangle pieces and then just dropping it and then moving it into the space, an empty water space uh, that it lands near. So now we are ready to begin the game. The object is for me to survive for five days. And what it means for me to survive is for me to be able to place my fish tiles into the ocean and uh, just keep doing that for five days. If I cannot place a fish tile because I either don't have the fish tile that I need or because there's no room because I fail to make room on the board and I can't continue with the pattern of placement, then I will also lose the game. But if I can survive all five days, then I win the game. And for an added bonus, if I want, I could keep score and uh, keep track and see how good I can do. But really, the main goal is to just survive. So at the start of the game, you'll flip one of the solo. After you place the uh, green tile, you'll flip a solo card. The orientation doesn't matter. Uh, well, it matters to play, but I can flip it in any direction. And however I flip it, now I have to place shapes in this order. So I have to place a diamond first. Now the rules of placement, I have to touch one of the sides to a shape that's already on the board. Now, if I can cover it up, cover up something, I get something in return. So I'm going to have to place a, I will place this here. I'm placing a diamond. So I'm covering up a diamond, which means that I have spawned and I gain a diamond. Now, I don't put it on my player mat, but I put it into my personal supply. Now, at the start of each round, I want to make sure that I have each four of these shapes uh, or else I have to spend one of my eggs to fill it in. I can also use a shrimp. In the original game you score points for the shrimp, but in this it gives you a special power that you can touch point to point rather than uh, side to side. Okay, my next shape that I have to put is one of these, and I have to place it next to a tile that I've already placed. And then I'm gonna have to place a yellow. So I'm already starting to think, oh, you know what, I can go here uh, to get a shrimp. So I get a shrimp, and now the next I have to place a yellow which uh, here I'm gonna have a starfish and a red. So I'll put that down, I'll take the red, and now I have to get the die to roll because of the starfish. So now what I have to do is I roll the die, and that tells me when you hit a starfish, um, it tells you what shape tile you receive, and I get one of these. So right now I have one of each except for the green. So I really want to try to get a green. Now the final piece of the day I have to place here next to that. So I could go here to get a shrimp. I could go up here to get a yellow and a starfish. I can't, oh I could also use a uh, shrimp to touch at the points which is what I think I'm going to do. So I'm going to use a shrimp. I'm touching that piece at the point. So I'm spending the shrimp. So now I can get a green. So notice here, now I have this. And so now we're about to begin the second day. So at the beginning of the second day, I have to put one of each shape out. And then I flip another card. And this is the order in which I have to place them. So at the start of a day, you can place it next to any tile on the board. You don't have to play the one that you just played. Okay, so I have to place this red tile first, followed by a green, then a blue. It's easy, you know, the beginning of the game is fairly easy, but then you have to be careful because you might run out of space. I think the best place for me to put this, I'm going to try to move over to this side of the board. I've got a starfish and a blue. Although actually that's nice for the yellow, if I could get a yellow piece there. Um, you know, yeah, I'm going to do that. Starfish and a blue diamond, so I get the diamond. 
and let's see what I get. It is another diamond. That's not what I want. I want diversity. Fish uh, thrive under diversity. All right, so I have this. I just placed the red. I have to place it next to that. Oh, I wasn't thinking. So um, you can see you have to actually think through this. Do I want to just waste the green and get nothing? I think I'm going to... I'm going to place it here. Uh, where am I going to place it? I'm going to place it because the next, so you you're, you're have to start thinking three moves in advance. I'm going to do this. I'm going to use my shrimp to place it on the corner. So it's only touching at the point. I'm going to trade a green for a green. And now I have to place the diamond. And I'm going to place the diamond here to get nothing. Uh, so that I can place this one over, I get four shapes, but I hit a shark. So you get to see what happens. So I'm going to get a red and a blue and a shrimp. So I'll take the shrimp, I'll take the red and the blue, and then I'm going to get a starfish, which means that I have to roll the die to get something, but then I'm going to roll the die to lose something because I hit the shark. So I get a red and now I have to roll to lose something. And I roll, oh, I have to lose a yellow. Uh, so this is good that I did this, if only to show you how dangerous it is. If I don't have a yellow, then I have to give up one of my eggs. So I just gave up one of my eggs. So now we've started day three, I am missing. Also, I can't put a yellow piece out, so I'm missing a yellow. So I have to spend another egg to get a yellow. So I'm gonna get a yellow, I get a red, I get blue and green. And now I'm ready to start day three. So now we'll flip a card at the start of day three. So it's green, yellow, red, blue. So green, yellow, red, blue. All right, uh, where do I want to start today's day? So I go green, yellow, red will hit me in the shark. If I go green, yellow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start hitting sharks. That's why you want to have the, the eggs ready. I am going to go like this. I'm going to put a green here to get a red. Uh, now I'm going to put my yellow here to get a yellow. I get a green and a yellow. So I've got every, I need a green for the next round. So the next thing I have to place is a red. So in order for me to place this, I can do it by the points, but I have to spend a shrimp, which is what I'm going to do. So I'll squeeze that in there, touching the previously played tile by its point, but I have to use a shrimp to do that. And now uh, I have to place the blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two shrimps. So I got a shrimp and a shrimp. All right, so now we're in day four and things are getting a little tight. I have that one, I have that one, I have that one, but I have to spend my last egg to uh, take one of these. So now if I have to spend any more eggs or, or my last, uh, the last day, I have to make sure I get one of each shape to at least be able to play it. So now day four begins and I flip that card. So we got blue, red, yellow, green. So I'll take the blue. Where should I start? Blue, red. If I go here, blue. I've got a lot of shrimp so I could place diagonally. Then I could go red there. But see, I'm, I need to figure out where the yellows are going to go. Blue, red, uh, I need to have the yellow come over here. I am uh, slowing down the game because I don't know what to do. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come here. No, I need pieces, though. I don't have enough pieces. I, um, I might have put myself in trouble here. Blue and then red and then yellow. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do blue. Ah, that gives me nothing. Red, I can go there and then I can place the yellow next to it, but I'm still hitting the, that. All right. I should probably pause to think about this, but this shows you the kinds of planning that you have to do and I may have not played the best game. Here's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm actually gonna hit a shark. So I'm gonna do a starfish and a shark. I, I roll for the starfish first, according to the rules. Oh no, 
If you get a shark, when you roll a starfish, you get nothing. And now I have to lose something. So I might lose the game right here. A shark, yes. Okay, so I rolled a shark on a shark. I don't have the requisite piece uh, to lose, which is an egg when you roll a shark on a shark. So I have lost this game um, very quickly. So I made it to three and a half days. There's five days to play, but hopefully that gives you a quick idea of how to play. I think strategically, I was probably thinking more about uh, filming it than thinking through the game. Uh, but it gives you an idea of the, the kind of thought process that you have to do in order to win the game. You can also have a lot of variety because the boards, there are six different board sides and you're going to always pick one and the number of sharks uh, on the board is, is not represented by the number except in so far as the higher the number is, the more sharks you have. But that's why you get more eggs depending on that. You can also increase or decrease the uh, complexity of the game or the challenge of the game by giving yourself uh, fewer or more of these as the case may be. So that is how you play Let Them Eat Shrimp Swim Alone variant.